Welcome, high fashionistas, to Sew for Self with LSC. I'm Melanda, and here's where I teach you to sew high fashion garments for yourself. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful summer look. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. I'll give you a couple seconds. Now let's keep going and growing. These are the tools needed for this project. A fitted, cropped t-shirt. 10 yards of tool, your straight pins, your scissors, and of course your sewing machine with matching thread. This is 10 yards of fabric. It came on a bulk so it was already folded in half. I folded the fabric evenly as I could and now I am going to make 18 inch strips. So we need three layers of 18 inch fabric so this is 18 inches this is about 9 inches or so and then we're just going to cut it right down we want to cut it at the 18 inch mark put pins in it to keep it as even as I could. So once I take the pins out and unfold it, there you have your 18 inch strip. And here, this is already measured out to 18 inches. And once you unfold it, you will have two layers so we just turned 10 yards of tool into 30 yards of 18 inch strips okay so I needed this to be a little shorter so I took two yards off of the one of the layers I cut two yards off and cut that in half so I would have two nine inch layers. So I'm going to take this and do the scrunch and sew them together and do the scrunch and pull method to make big ruffles. We did the scrunch and pull method with our first layer. Make sure when you sew it, it's about a half an inch from the top and your machine is on the widest stitch. And then you would pull one of the threads to create these big beautiful ruffles. I will link the video below explaining this in more uh, detail. Once you have your ruffles, you want to sew your first layer to the bottom of your t-shirt. Right where you sewed Right where you put that first stitch at to create the ruffles is the, the st 
stitch that you want to follow. So this first row, you want to do a zigzag stitch all the way around. Make sure you still have that half of an inch out. And then I did it about a half an inch or so from the bottom of the t-shirt. And then you sew your ruffles using a zigzag stitch and then you'll pull it as you're sewing it so you can still keep that stretch in the t-shirt so you'll pull it as you sew it and when you come back you still have your ruffles so that's our first layer on looks like a little girl dress <laughs> But that's our first ruffles our first layer of ruffles and now we'll do the same thing with our second layer of ruffles now this first layer um was about a yard and a half of our nine inch layer so now we'll work on the next layer of ruffles so next we'll use this 18 inch layer i'm going to start out by using about six yards gonna cut like six yards off of this 18 inch layer and then start from there do the scrunch and pull method and take it around and if see if it will fit around the entire bottom of this and if not we'll just add more ruffles so you just keep building you keep adding your ruffles and we're gonna do three layers Now once we scrunch and pull, we're going to work on adding this to the second layer. So what you want to do here is spread your ruffles out. Don't make them tight. The tighter your ruffles, the bigger and fuller your um, dress is going to be. So you want to loosen up your ruffles. You want to loosen up your ruffles. Don't make them as tight together. Just don't have them like compacted like that. You just want to loosen them out, spread them out a little bit. Have a little space in between them like this. And then you want to add it to the second layer. So scrunch and pull it. Loosen up your ruffle a little bit as you go along. So you want to put it put it towards the bottom of it, about a half an inch from the very bottom. And then you want to pin it. And then spread your ruffles and then pin it again. You want to spread your ruffles as you move it along and pin it down and keep going. Spread your ruffles. Don't make them too tight. right about a half an inch from the very bottom and then you want to add a pin so spread your ruffles take it a half an inch from the bottom and then pin it together and you are going to do that all away around so that's how you add your layers you will repeat this with the third layer so our second layer is complete with a straight stitch and it's a half an inch from the bottom and remember to leave this little half inch out 
at the top. So at this point, it's extremely cute and high fashion and extremely full. You can leave it at the two layers or you can keep going. And I'm going to keep going. I want to do another layer because I want this very long. So let's keep going. Here's our completed look. It's absolutely breathtaking and also versatile. You can wear this as a swimsuit or a bikini cover up. You can wear a pair of shorts or jeans underneath this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Watch my lookbook video showing you how I styled some of my YouTube looks. I will link that in the description below. Also, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Click that notification bell. Till next time, high fashionistas.